Hello, welcome, Marlin here. Today I'm trying out some new colors that I recently acquired, and the best way to do that is by actually using them, so on to today's cookie project. For today, I'm playing with some Americolor electric colors, and here you see we have some pretty colors. I kind of wish that this was a bit more different, but it is what it is, and what I really am excited about is that they have a matching airbrush kit. And so I'll be able to mix up my royal icing. I'm not going to take it to the top darkest and then we'll accent with these nice airbrush colors. Here they are all mixed up and ready to go. I have to say I really like them. As you can see here, mixed lighter, perfect Easter palette. And now let's get going on our projects. I decided to use some Easter bunny cookies and I'm just adding a base layer of each color on my cookie. It's not necessary to wait for your icing to dry when airbrushing on it. You're not touching the surface. And so with the coordinating color, I'm just outlining the perimeter of each cookie. This is a great way to build your airbrushing skills if you're new to it by simply outlining in a darker color. You're adding a little bit of detail to the cookie but it's also quite forgiving. So if you're just starting out, this is a great way to practice. The family's all here and I'm going to add the little tail. I'm just adding a dot of the same color and I'm going to add some Easter spring nonpareils to that there and for the face I'm actually torn if I even want one but um, you know what I think I'm going to do it in the pink I want to keep it very pink. So there's the whiskers and an eye. And that's the look I'm going for. Kind of mon like all the same color with only the color on the tail. So let's get him in there. The green for the tail to stick there. Put my hand so it doesn't bounce everywhere like before. And whiskers and the eye. It's not my usual style but I'm challenging myself artistically. Here are the completed cookies basking in the sun. <laughs> As you can see, the outline doesn't stand out that much. I don't know that it was worth it, but I do like how well that airbrush coordinates with the base color. So something to consider if you're shopping around for some nice spring Easter palette colors. I'm sure you noticed as I was airbrushing the bunnies, I had some Easter eggs. So we're going to look at combining these colors a little bit on one cookie. I use one of my very large round cookie cutters to create that guideline in uh, the middle of the cookie. Well, not quite the middle, but to separate the cookie. And now I'm flooding each cookie in two colors. Once that's had a bit of time to dry, I did airbrush the edge, but again, I don't know that it was worth it, but I wanted to try it out. Once my base layer of icing was dry and airbrushed, I moved on to a little decorating. 
here's the basic design we're doing as you can see we've got our nice bright colors on our cookies breaking it up with a little bit of white but I'm keeping with those Starting colors off with the white here I'm just doing some straight lines all the way up on either side and then again leaving some space in the middle for the squiggly line and then one up the center now I'm grabbing the purple and a squiggly line stopping when I get to the purple there and now I'm grabbing the green and I'm continuing as if I didn't stop just like that and now we're going to grab one accent color for this one I think I'm going to take orange. I'm going to grab the orange. That's a good contrast here. And I'm just doing dots right next to the white line. Just like that. And repeat. For my final thoughts, I love these colors. All of them super pretty. The electric purple is actually quite different from the pink once you've actually used it in the icing. A really nice spring Easter color palette. I hope you've enjoyed my little demonstration. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future uploads and I'll see you next time.